My name is Derek Kashan and this is a new video. So apparently, if you're not subscribed, make sure you subscribe because apparently I'm giving out new notification shout outs. This notification shout out is gonna go to Caleb. I'm gonna put it uh, right there, all right? So if you want a notification shout out, all you gotta do, comment, like, subscribe. When you comment, you have to say that you're subscribed with notifications on. That's the key. Now I don't really do this all the time. This is temporary. So make sure you do it while you can. All right, with that being said, I hope y'all enjoy. Well, I'm about to go work out and then we're about to start the video. So let's go. Because tell you the truth, I don't even know if they're useful. Because I already told y'all that I'm going to be working out, trying to get better at rock climbing and stuff. But do do I really need to show you the whole working out process? Put, put it down in the comments below. On top of that, wait a second, let me try to close this thing up again. Oh my gosh. Yo, I don't even remember how, how, how to put this up. Like... I went out of my way to open up this big old green screen and I don't even remember how to fold it up. Wait a second, give, give me a second. Alright. Like literally every time I open up this giant green screen I end up having to look up a YouTube tutorial on how to fold these things up. So let's see if I remember. Oh my gosh, this is so difficult. This is supposed to fit in like a small circular container. Uh. One eternity later. Bingo. There it goes. That was way harder than it needed to be. And speaking of fails, alright, this is a good time to bring up something else. Okay, so apparently... Do, do you guys see this? Alright, it is 66 degrees. I don't know if I remember how to change this thing. But I'm gonna I'm gonna try to see if I remember. Okay, it looks like it worked. Alright, but like I was saying, should I keep those workout montages? I'm about to put a poll up like right there. If you agree, just hit yes. If you don't agree, just hit no. Cause I mean that type of feedback, it, it works out. Plus, when it comes to me like trying to get better at rock climbing and stuff like that so I can start competing. Because I think the next uh, competition is um, at the start of the next school year, somewhere around August or so, whatever. And since I'm not really in school because I graduated, it gives me a lot more time to uh, practice and exercise or whatever. So, uh, with that being said, I'm going to need to start going to rock climbing gyms and stuff like that so I can start bringing you guys along with me. We'll have rock climbing vlogs, a whole bunch of other stuff. And along the ways, we're about to explore other extreme sports and stuff like that because, uh, yeah, why not? But long story short, first things first, I need to get a car. But the closest rock climbing gym near here is like, I think like 6.6 .6 miles away. It's called Upper Limits, the same place that freaking liked my social media post. And if you look down here, freaking Upper Limits of all people. The rock climbing gym from STL commented on my post, which is friggin' awesome because, I don't know, if they seem interested in my content, who knows, I might be able to get a sponsor out there. We're reaching people. We're getting places. So, uh, who knows, I can probably get a good deal, but it's six miles away, so, I mean, I can't walk there. So if any of you all want to help out so I can get a car, uh, yeah, go to DerekKashan.com, links right down below or right here or right there, or right there, you can get some merch, join the club, join the team, join the squad, join D-Rock Nation, join the movement. But yeah, it'll be greatly appreciated. Okay guys, apparently this is another one of those situations. A battery dying. Uh, my mo- oh crap, well, here, this is the battery. This battery goes to this monitor that I have on top of this camera, alright? Because this is the only way I'm able to see myself. 
on top of all that, just because I'm all about this one trip life, all right? This is what it usually looks like when I'm done recording down here. I got my green screen under my arm with my tripod under my arm with my camera in my hand and my battery underneath that. I'm literally carrying everything with one arm. I usually have two armfuls of stuff, so I mean, yeah, I do all this for you guys. All right, so apparently a lot of stuff has happened in the past couple of hours, but most importantly, the battery, I think it is now charged. So let's try to see if it works. All right, so basically this is what I usually do at every single place I've lived at since I moved in with my mom. I learned how to do this trick uh, about like three years ago at the first house uh, when I first moved in with my mother. Uh, the last house I lived at, I did it there as well. And now I'm gonna do it here. I'm gonna do a 540 roundhouse kick. So basically, that's what I'm gonna do. Not gonna lie, I haven't done this in a while. I literally had to mentally prepare myself. I even took off my shoes for this stuff. I don't know how to do it with my shoes on. I may wipe out, I may not wipe out. He's gonna do it on the hard asphalt. Exactly. Yeah, it looked great. Alright. Try it again. Okay. Let's do it one more time. Oh, I think I did it right. I yeah. That was right. You did it right both times. That's, that's how you assert your dominance at this place. Alright. People need to know you're a dangerous guy. <laughs> Alright. Yeah, let's go. Alright guys, it is yet another day and I gotta admit I am actually so surprised I was even able to do that because apparently after I got the surgery it caused my my spine to be fused to the point where I only have three vertebrae that are able to pivot. I think I explained that in an earlier video if you haven't seen it you should go check it out. But long story short I didn't think that I would be able to do that trick because it involves twisting or at least I thought it involved twisting. Now basically what I think is going on is that the, the force generated by the leg just kicking over like that is what initiates the rotation in the air. I, I'm pretty sure this is one of those things where once you learn it, you can't unlearn it. And it's not a 540 rod house, it's actually a one-legged tornado kick. And if you at home wanna know how hard it is to do this kick, uh, try kicking and then landing on the same leg that you kicked with. And basically that's what I just did. And I'm not gonna lie, I was I was literally so excited that I also posted I, I posted the clip on my Instagram and pretty much everyone loved it. So hey, I'm just saying, if you wanna see things before they're actually out on YouTube, or if you just wanna stay up to date, see what I'm doing off camera, uh, follow me on Instagram. It's at Derek Kashan. But on a different note, I'm also about to start a podcast because I have some funny stories to tell. All these people always, uh, all my friends see me laugh from time to time just out of nowhere and that's because there are funny situations I have caught myself into that every time I think of it I just can't help but to laugh about it because it's crazy. Bro, I used to live with hillbillies. There was a moment when I lived with hillbillies out in Hannibal, Missouri, bro. It, it was so, we did some freaking crazy stuff. Like we went through the KKK neighborhood with the windows down, bro, and everyone in the car was black, all right? That's just one of them. There was another time when I was over and uh, I used to live in a foster home or whatever, and there was, there was some crazy stuff that happened there. Like, literally, I have a ton of funny things that happen. They're all about to be released in the podcast, but uh, yeah. But before I could do any of that, I need to get more equipment. Like, I need to get capture cards, sound cards and another microphone so my brother can use it so we can talk about these funny things. So if any of y'all want to help out so that we can get to that point, drop a like, comment down below, or subscribe. And if you want, you can join the squad. Get your D-Rock Nation merch. Because I'm telling you, it's the best merch in the game. I know you hear that a lot, but like seriously, I put a lot of thought and hard work into my merchandise. Like I actually designed it myself which means it's designed by an artist. Because, hey, how many other people do this? How many other people design their own stuff? Long well, story short, 
enough of me getting a big head. Crap, I'm wearing like friggin' three or four shirts right now. I hope y'all liked the video. I will see y'all next time. So peace. Ha!